Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Talkin' Movies. As always, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and today we're going to be talking about The Kitchen, which stars Melissa McCarthy, Tiffany Haddish, and Elizabeth Moss. Uh, what this movie is about, it's set in New York and Hell's Kitchen in the 1970s. Uh, it's about a group of uh, three wives of gangsters and the the husbands end up going to prison and the mob family says they're going to take care of the three ladies but uh they're barely giving them enough to get by uh tiffany haddish's character uh, is kind of the odd woman out she uh isn't really accepted in the family uh because she's black um melissa mccarthy's character uh her husband and her are really good together and they have two kids uh but you find out a little bit later that uh pride uh plays a lot uh into the plot when it comes to their characters and elizabeth moss's character is uh she's being abused uh by her gangster husband uh, and you find out that they've even lost a baby because of it. Uh, so each three of the ladies have their own stories going on, but when their husbands go to prison, uh, they have to kind of take over, uh, the, the business of, uh, protection and, uh, collecting money from the people they're protecting and everything. Um, but the status quo of the mob does not like what they're doing. Um, I was really excited for this movie because, for a lot of reasons. Uh, a, I love Elizabeth Moss. I think she's really good. Um, I love seeing Melissa McCarthy get to do uh, more serious things. Um, and I want to see her do more serious things like this. And then I was really curious how Tiffany Haddish would be uh, in a more serious role. Not where she's just being insane and crazy and trying to be funny in a movie. I haven't got to see her do anything different up until now. So I was really excited to see it. Plus, I just love gangsters movies. You know, so anything like that, all that together, I'm just like, I'm really excited for this. While I did enjoy this movie, uh, here, here's the big but. Uh, I enjoyed this movie, but it had some issues. Um, the first real issue I had was, while the main characters get a decent amount of development, uh, at least Melissa McCarthy's character and Elizabeth Moss's character, uh, Tiffany Haddish's character does get development and she does play a big part in the plot, but she doesn't get as well as developed as the other two, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so while their characters do get development, just about everybody else is pretty cookie cutter generic when it comes to characters, especially a lot of the, uh, the minor gangsters, even some of the major gangsters, uh, are, are kind of, uh, the, even the major, some of the major gangsters are still kind of generic. Um, I, I mean, uh, with the exception of Bill Camp's character, um, who's like the big boss uh, of the Italian family, um, whereas in uh, the the family that our main characters are involved in uh, are Irish. Um, so. That's just, I, I would have liked to have seen some more development uh, with some of the other characters as well. That being said, you're focusing on the three main women. Uh, so they did a good job, at least the, for the most part, of, uh, of bringing their characters' uh, plots into fruition. Uh, but see, I was a little disappointed because you had uh, Margot Martindale was the mother-in-law to Tiffany Hash's character, and they hate each other's guts. And that stuff's really good. Um, I did like what they did there because she's kind of not welcome into the family again because she's black. Um, but I love Margot Martindale and I would have liked to have seen more from her. Uh, but what we do get of her is really good. Um, the standout uh, actors in this uh, have to be Elizabeth Moss and her character and uh, Donald Gleason and his character. Um, Donald Gleason's character uh he did some things in New York and had to run off for a while. He runs to, I believe it was California. I think they just said the West coast and I, they think they implied it was California. And when it, and he, he ends up coming back, he said it's all cleared up and I came back. And then 
Uh, the reasons you find out why he came back kind of plays into Elizabeth Moss's character story. Um, and I really like those two characters together. I like uh, how them being together, um, it really makes uh, Elizabeth Moss's character come into her own uh, because she, as someone that's been beaten a ton and especially lost a baby, um, her character... It's kind of a pushover at first, and then by the end, uh, she's she's downright cold. Um, there's a scene that, uh, and you kind of see part of it in the trailer, where she says, I don't want you to do it, I want to learn how to do it, or I want you to show me how to do it. Um, when, she, when that scene progresses, and why, uh, you, you have Donald Gleason's character saying to her things like, um, you know, this is how you need to do it. You need to do it fast. You don't need to run. You, you know, it just, there's just all this things he's doing. And then she gets out and does it. And it's just so cold blooded. Uh, it's fantastic. And again, those two, are, I think are the strongest part of the film. Uh, I did love what they did with Melissa McCarthy's character as well. Uh, her story involving her and her husband. And then, uh, the kids being a, uh, a motivator, uh, for both of them. Uh, where, how it motivates them uh, works really well. And also Melissa McCarthy has to deal with a character uh, playing her dad that, or an actor playing her dad that um, he, he's a union worker and he's been out of work for months. And so, and he, he wants to help his daughter, but of course he, he doesn't have any money cause he hasn't been working. Um, and, and the, and the conflict that he has that, uh, with things going well with the business, he's starting to get work, but it's blood money and, and things like that. Um, when it comes to uh, the twists and turns of the movie, they're all pretty predictable. Um, I will say that while I enjoyed where this story went, uh, for the most part, uh, even though the ending was... The, even though, okay, I, I've never read the comics, the DC Vertigo comics this is based on, but I don't know if there was more of them, if this is where the story ended. I I don't think they were meaning to imply there might be another movie, but in a way it does kind of sequel bait. Um, but it's not like blatant. Uh, it's just, I think it, you can take it, you can take this as an ending as well. Uh, it's hard to say. It's just basically... I'm trying not to spoil it here. I just the way they they put it it was okay, this is where we're at now. Uh let's move forward. Um that's about the best way I can say it without spoiling exactly what they did. But in a way you could kind of take that as sequel bait, but I think it was just there it was kind of maybe a, an artsy way of ending it in a way uh saying, well, there you know there's more to the story, but we're never going to tell it. Um all in all, I, I, I liked this movie. Um, and a funny story, uh, I'm not going to name names or, or theaters or anything, but uh, I had a noon ticket to go see this. And uh, so I go to the theater to, to go see it, and um, the theater's locked. And so I, I knocked on the window. I saw the manager, and I, I know the manager pretty well. And I knocked on the window, and she's like, why are you here? Can I help you? And I'm like, I have a noon movie. I'm going to see the kitchen. She goes, we canceled that show. I'm like, I ordered the tickets like four days ago. She's like, yeah, that's weird. Cause we canceled it like a week ago with school getting back in here very soon. Like next week around here, uh, they're taking away the, the afternoon times and starting at like, you know, three and four now. And I'm like, well, um, I said, is there any way I can watch it? And she goes, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> so she goes up there and she checks it and she's able to turn it on. She's like, I'm like, are you sure this is okay? She's like, oh yeah, it's going to work. You can watch it. And she knows me, you know? And so it's like, do you want to try to scan my ticket and see what it says? Because on the, the electronic board, uh, that has all the times, um, it had the time there, but it had like a line through it. Like you took a pen and, and marked it through it. It was kind of funny. And I'm like, yeah, that's the time I'm supposed to be here. And I showed her the, the ticket and everything. And she says, uh, 
yeah, we'll try to put it in. She puts in my confirmation number and it's like, sorry, this show's been canceled. Even though the app is supposed to warn you uh, when something's canceled. So she goes, yeah, you can watch it anyway, as long as it's going to run. And uh, so when I walked in there, oh, and she even was able to sell me concessions. Uh, so I had some concessions and that was kind of nice. But uh, so I was able to cancel uh, that ticket, which was great. And I got to see the movie for free. So that was kind of nice. I got me some some pretzel bites and, uh, and a lemonade and I went and enjoyed the kitchen uh, for free, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I, 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 so I have to thank the, uh, the unnamed employee at the unnamed theater because for letting me watch the movie for free, because, uh, the unnamed theater, uh, didn't warn me that the uh, show had been canceled. So, uh, that was great. It was, it was, I don't expect to do that every time, but Hey, uh, it, it was nice. It was nice being able to, to watch it. And I was in an empty theater. Heck, there was, other than her, there was no one else in the entire theater, <laughs> the building. So uh, that was kind of nice. Um, so that was just a fun little story I thought I'd share. Uh, is the kitchen worth going to see in the theaters? If you like gangster movies, um, yeah. I I would say it's, it's worth checking out. It's not great uh i wouldn't put it up there with you know like your donnie brascos or something like that but as a fan of gangster movies and uh the interest i had in seeing what these actresses could pull off um again uh melissa mccarthy's good tiffany ash is good elizabeth moss is great uh donald gleason's really good uh margo martindale with little we get her she's good um I liked Bill Camp. Uh, he was he was again. They develop him a little bit, but he's still kind of your typical, you know, head mobster like Italian mobster kind of guy. Um, but I liked what the movie had to offer. the The story is a little sloppy. It's a little predictable, uh, but I was enjoying what was going on as a, as a whole. I enjoyed everything, and then uh, of course the the strongest point of the movie again is Elizabeth Moss and Donald Gleason's performances. Um, they share some scenes together, and uh, they're fantastic. I, and especially Elizabeth Moss, um, she deserves every bit of credit as an actress that uh, that she gets because, and and she probably deserves more. Um, just the amount of emotion she's able to put into this movie the the switch of her of just her whole psyche in this movie from going from a punching bag to uh just so cold-blooded uh it's fantastic um i really enjoyed her in this movie again it's and and really i i saw that critics are shredding this movie and the audiences are really liking it um you know, when you've had better mobster movies out there, uh, and there are, there's plenty of better mobster movies, but, uh, I, if you enjoy, if you want to see these actresses do something different, especially again, Tiffany Addish or Melissa McCarthy do more serious stuff. If you want to see that, uh, and you want to see a decent mobster movie, the kitchen is well worth checking out. That's going to be all for this edition of talking movies. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the real Gino YouTube channel. Like this video. And if you have anything to say about the kitchen, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below until next time. I'm your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds. See you later.